Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you print your worksheets, make sure that you have the worksheet properly set up using the Page Setup dialog box. Once this is accomplished, you will want to check the way that your worksheet will print without having to waste paper by actually printing several copies until it is correct. Excel provides another view of your worksheet called Print Preview to assist you in this. In Print Preview, you can see how your worksheet will actually print on paper according to the specifications that you've set in the Page Setup dialog box. To view your currently open worksheet in Print Preview, click the File tab in the ribbon and then click the Print command. In the section to the right in the Backstage view, you will see various printing options that you have already set within the Page Setup dialog box. To the right of those options, you will see the Print Preview view of your workbook. Note that there are two buttons that appear in the far lower right corner of the Backstage view at this point. You can click the Show Margins Toggle button to toggle the display of the margins on the page within the Print Preview on and off each time that you click the button. You can also click the Zoom to Page Toggle button to switch the print pre preview from displaying one full page to displaying a magnified version of the page, which you can then scroll through to inspect the data more closely. Also note that if you are printing multiple sheets, you can click the small left and right pointing arrows that appear at the bottom of the print preview in order to scroll through the sheets that you will print. You can also click directly into the number box and enter the page number of the page that you would like to display in the print preview in order to show it on screen. After you've previewed your worksheets, you can then set any additional printing settings in the same area within the backstage view. This is one of the new enhancements that's been made within Excel 2010. In the print section, enter the number of copies that you would like to print into the copy spinner box or simply click the small up and down pointing arrows to enter the total number of copies to print. In the printer section, use the drop down to select the name of the printer to which you want to print the worksheets. In the settings section, use the first drop down to select what you want to print within your workbook. You can select either print active sheets, print entire workbook, print selection, or print selected table. Note that the print selected table option will only appear as a choice if you have inserted a table into your worksheet. Also note that you can save time when printing multiple worksheets in the same workbook by first selecting the sheets that you wish to print as a group and then printing them. To do this, simply select the sheets that you want to print as a group first, then in the print dialog box, ensure that the print active sheets choice is selected. Also note that you can choose to ignore any print area restrictions set by users on the printable areas of the worksheet by simply selecting the Ignore Print Area option at the bottom of this drop-down if needed. If you only want to print a specified range of pages in the current printout, you can enter a starting page number after the Pages text box and then enter an ending page number after the To text box. You can use the next drop down to choose either collated to have a collated printout, or you can select uncollated to have an uncollated printout. The last few drop downs allow you to change any settings that you could also change through the page setup dialog box, such as your page orientation, paper type, margins, and scaling. When you're done choosing your printing options, just click the large print button at the top of the print section to begin printing your workbook. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.